in this video we are going to see how to make the bottom half bearing and the top half bearing of a plumber block using these drawing details we are going to make a 3d part in inventor open inventor click on new and then choose standard mm dot ipt and then click on create now click on start 2d sketch and choose the xy plane first we are going to do the bottom half bearing here they didn't give all the dimension in the bottom half bearing they have given it in the top half bearing we have to use it we have to use those details also to make the bottom half bearing Now I have drawn roughly uh, the other half I am going to mirror it. Now I will give the constraints that is the dimensional constraints. This total is given as it is given as 50 mm so half of it, it will, which will be 25. And this one also 25. Now, I'm going to delete this. Now I'll make the constraint. Coincide. I have to use the option coincide since it is moving out. Now see the line does not move. Now I'll add the other dimensions the inside one that is 22 mm so it will be half of it so half of 22 is 11 and from this point to this point it is given by 36 mm so 36 divided by 2 Now I will mention these details. From this part to this part it is total it is given as 50 mm dia so it will be half of it so 50 divided. This is the inner edge. So inner edge it is given by 25 mm so it will be half of it so 25 divided by 2 you mentioned these dimensions also from this end to this end it is given by the top from the top to the center it is given by 50 mm so it will be 25 so 50 divided by 2 And the next is 38 mm and 35 mm. So from this end to this end, it is 38 divided by 2. 38 divided by 2. And from this end to this end, it is 35 divided by 2. And this is 25 divided by 2, that is 
and this one is given by 38 divided by 2 38 divided by 2 sorry 35 this is for the 38 is done next one is 35 divided by 2 and this one is 25 divided by 2 and then click on finish use the option revolve and the axis I am going to select is as X axis and then I am going to make only the half that is 180 degree rotation so I am going to specify it has 180 use symmetric and then in the angle mention 180 degrees now I am going to mirror the other half using the option mirror choose the option mirror and in the feature click on feature and then choose the feature and choose the revolution which you want to mirror and then click on mirroring plane and then choose the mirroring plane you can have a preview of it using the preview you can just mirror it and then click on ok you can see it has been made now we will make this top round portion now choose this xy plane and then click on start to sketch and I am going to change the view to wireframe and hidden edges The diameter is given as 3 mm, sorry 6 mm and the height, total height is given as 5 mm. And 5 mm. And this I will use 3 mm. And I'll make sure that it touches this bottom circle. And now we'll click on finish sketch and we'll use the option revolve. And in the axis, we'll choose this axis and then click on OK. Now we'll change back the view to normal view shaded with edges now you can see the bottom half bearing is made now we'll add material to it it is made up of brass so to add the material click on file i properties in the physical choose brass Here there are different options for brass, you can choose any of them. Now I will choose then click on apply and then OK. Now I will save this part, I will save this as bottom half bearing, bearing bottom half and then click on save. Now to do the top half bearing, it is very easy and if you have made any, uh, that is if you have made previously made the bottom half bearing, it is very easy and uh, it is very much similar to the bottom half bearing. But if you have made the bottom half bearing, you don't need to do again the top half bearing because it is just a modification of it. 
and to modify i will not need this revolution so i am going to delete this revolution go to 3d model and start the 2d sketch choose the xy plane i'll change back the view to wireframe with the edges now in the top half bearing there is a 4 mm hole at the center now let us make it Four mm diameter, so we are going to make only half of it, and then use the option revolve two mm. I'm going to use the option extend. I change back the view to shaded with edges. and now i will use the option revolve now the profile is selected and i will choose the axis to revolve and now the angle is 360 degree and i want the material to be removed then click on cut and then click on okay now you can see it has been made the hole has been made sorry i made only till the depth since it is this profile is circular I have to make it little bit more, so I am going to click on Edit Sketch again. And now click on Finish. Now I will change back the view to normal shaded with edges. You can see complete hole has been made. and now we will save this part as top half bearing to save this part as top half bearing don't choose the option save now we'll click on save as because already we have saved the first as bearing bottom half and now we'll save this one as bearing top half then click on save and since it is also made of same material you don't need to change the material